Even though you can say when one door closes, another opens. But what if that door opened more doors? Hi, my name is Petrina. I studied here in Singapore Polytechnic with a course a Diploma in Marine Engineering. What inspired me to choose uh, marine engineering was really just that I visited a maritime museum. I was actually born in Taiwan, so the biggest, one of the biggest shipping companies is Evergreen. And that was actually the museum that I visited as a kid. I really just enjoyed looking at the model ships. I didn't expect them to be that big. They had this uh, room whereby you can really touch all the buttons and things light up, make sound. So that was something that kind of intrigued me as a kid. I came across Campus Open House and speaking to the teachers, it kind of helped give you a rough idea of how the school life is like. So of course, um, as a kid, what inspired me would be the museum, but as a student currently chasing this career, what inspires me more is of course my teachers and my fellow lecturers. Uh, yeah. If I recall, uh, I, I would say that basically I find her a, a joy to teach her because you just experience that how the question she asks means that she does uh, interact with the material, she's thinking what is going on. It, it is a necessary step for the learning process and that really means that she is preparing herself well for the career that she has had a heart to do. Thank you. My parents are very willing to let me try what I am interested in. So it wasn't difficult in that sense, but uh, I think only in secondary school I struggled a lot. It's a learning disability that you slowly overcome, which sometimes you don't overcome actually. Of course, reading manuals are difficult. Um, reading books, even children books are difficult. But the point is just to be patient. I have a lot of devices that can help. Technology is amazing now. I just need to scan and it reads to me. I genuinely never thought that I would pursue education that far. Sometimes you chase the sun and you burn yourself, right? So that's something that uh, I was very worried that I would actually fall under. So graduation is something that meant a lot to me. The biggest lesson I've learned entering the maritime industry, I think number one is adaptation. There are always other alternatives to getting people's attention in the most professional way. So I think Singapore Maritime Academy really helped me out a lot. Working on board the ship, you never can really predict what you get in terms of the situation as well as the people all across the living space. You know, it is rather confined. It is not like land where you can walk freely and catch fresh air every time. Adapting to that situation, that's something that the maritime industry has taught me. But for me right now, um, the focus is still finishing my bond, sailing and enjoying the journey. I think uh, the career comes along the way, position also comes along the way, and if you earn it, you deserve it. One word of advice I would give to my peers and juniors would be that if you want something, just go for it. It's not about what you think you can do, it's more about what you are willing to go out and do and sacrifice, and then what comes back will always be more than you wanted.